In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to extract information from the web using Google Sheets. So if you have a list of LinkedIn profile links, and if you want to collect the most up-to-date information, you can do this with one click. You can collect prices on Amazon products and pretty much anything else that you would otherwise do manually. To make all of this possible, we're going to be using a browser extension called Bardeen. It's a workflow automation tool. And for this specific use case, there are just three actions. The first one is going to get all of your URLs from a given spreadsheet. The second action is going to visit each one of the pages that you want to scrape, and then it's going to extract information from them. And finally, we need to find that Google spreadsheet row and update it with the new information. Hence, the third action. Let's dive in. For the first use case, we're going to scrape LinkedIn profile links. Here I have a spreadsheet with a website link over here. So I will try to scrape information from that page. I already have the browser extension installed, so let's open it up. And here I'm going to create a new automation. Like we've broken down the automation before, we need to access a list of links in that spreadsheet. So I'm going to click on Google Sheets. If you do not have it installed, you can just click on this plus icon and find Google Sheets over here. All right, let's scroll down and let's select the section, get table from Google Sheet. We're going to pick our Google Sheet. It's called scraping websites. Let's select that and let's select the tab called Sheet 1. Click on Done. And the second action is going to do the magic. It's going to visit every page in the background and collect information. For that, we have uh, this scraper action. As you can see, there are a bunch of different scraper actions. We want to scrape data in the background, meaning that each website URL is going to be opened in the background in your browser and is going to collect the information. And the scraper action here asks us for which URLs do we want to scrape. So we're going to pick URLs from our previous action and select website links. This is this column over here in the spreadsheet. Open up Bardeen one more time. And then let's go ahead and pick a scraper template. I'm going to explain what scraper templates are in a more detailed video that you can see by clicking on this little card over here or by going to the description of this video. A scraper template just informs Bardeen which elements you want to extract from a given website. Bardeen already comes with hundreds of pre-built scraper templates. So for the LinkedIn profile use case, I can just type in LinkedIn profile. And here we have it show up. As you can see, it's built by Bardeen. You can also scrape information from Twitter, from Crunchbase, and obviously you could build your very own scraper for pretty much any website on the web, which makes it super exciting. Okay, I'm going to click on done. And uh, so far, we've gotten all the links, we've scraped the links in the background and gotten additional information. Let's add that additional information into our original spreadsheet. You can also create a new spreadsheet with information if you want to, but I want to keep things a little bit more clean. For that, I'm going to scroll down and here we have update Google Sheets tabs rows. So I'm going to pick the same spreadsheet, scraping websites, pick our tab. This action knows which sheet to add the information to, but it doesn't know the row to add the information to. So we have a list of all of the data coming from LinkedIn that was scraped. Now we need to match the data that comes from the scraper to a given spreadsheet row. For that, we need to pick a column that we're going to search for a specific data field. So we're going to pick website link because that's the field that we originally used. So we're looking up website links column and then we want to match each row by the profile link URL. Let's scroll down and pick this URL variable. This is the LinkedIn profile page. This is how sheets get updated. And finally, let's add the data to a given spreadsheet row. There are two ways to do it. The more complicated way is this. You can add a new column over here that will be later created in Google Sheets, and you can call it, for example, name or full name of the person, full name. You can do it this way, and then from here, you can uh, go ahead and click on this field, and then pick scraper action and map out data coming from the scraper, such as name, to this new column that was created. Personally, I don't want to do it for 20 or 30 fields, so there is a little workaround. You can click on use commands, then let's delete everything we had from there. And instead, I'm going to get all of the data coming from the scraper action, just like this. This way, columns that the scraper has, but the Google Sheet doesn't have, will be created in our Google Sheet. Let's click on done, click on done again. Well, let's call it something like enrich sheets with LinkedIn profiles. 
All right, let's click on save. And now is the magical moment. I can minimize the window so you can see what's going to happen, which is pretty exciting. Let's click on this automation and it's going to run. Here, as you can see, a new web page was opened up. Bardeen doesn't require you to pass on any login credentials, any cookies, because all of the web scraping happens locally in your browser. All right, and just like this, here we have all of the information. There's so many fields, uh, San Francisco, headline, about, current company, education. Wow, there's even in the email field, which is amazing. Now that our automation is built, all you need to do is add more profiles, which you can also scrape using Bardeen, and then click on the Bardeen icon over there, tap on the playbook card. The data is being scraped in the background, so you can always click on this hide button you can close Google Sheets, you can do whatever you need to do, and then watch the magic happen, watch the sheet populate itself. If you're not new to this channel, you already know that I like taking automations to the next level. So now let's add a trigger to this automation. When I add a new LinkedIn profile link, I want Bardeen to recognize that and automatically scrape the data in the background. Let's go ahead and modify this automation a little bit. What I want to do is I want to duplicate this automation so that I have the original uh, and call it automated. Okay, this is our automation over here. I'm going to open it in the builder. And then all I need to do is I need to add a trigger when the new spreadsheet row is added. So I'm going to go to sheets over here, scroll down and find the trigger when row is added to Google Sheet. Now let's pick the sheet. Okay, there we have it. And we no longer need this get table from Google Sheets action because it's going to get all of the data fields where I only want to get the new row that was added. I'm going to delete this action over here. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to remap the data coming to the scraper. So the URL link over here needs to come from this Google Sheet. And let's look up our website link, the original variable. Let's pick that same scraper template, LinkedIn profile. Let's click on done and let's enable this auto book. Uh, that's it. This is our newly updated automation. Let me just pick somebody else's profile. For example, Johannes. So I'm going to copy the link, paste it here into our spreadsheet. And then I'm going to show you what's going to happen. When you open up Bardeen, you can click on show activity. And you'll see all of the instances of this automation being triggered. Bardeen checks spreadsheets for changes about every minute. So you need to know that it's not quite instant. Okay, and just like this, as you can see, we have a new spreadsheet row that was added over there. And again, in show activity, you see this instance of the automation being run. It is your turn to build your very own automation. You can go to the description of this video to download Bardeen. And if you have some really unique website to scrape information from, make sure to watch this video next about how to use Bardeen Data Scraper and how to build your very own scraper templates. I'll see you there.